Hello guys, how are you all? I hope all are good. So guys, today we'll see how lower is 11 operating system. Okay, actually, uh, earlier I was working on Windows 10. So that I have, uh, I have switched to Windows 11 now. So I thought I'll make video on that. So it will be useful for you guys. Okay, so for that, what you need to do, just if you have operating system Windows now, then just go in Google and search for uh beat you can see guys there we dot dev is there so you search for that then you will get like uh either one command will be there but for that we need to install the new so i'm doing guys here just search, search for no download and you can select here your new version your operating system and according to that you can install you can download okay so i have downloaded now that dot msf and you can see that guys it is downloading now and then i have i'm trying to install that file so already I have that file, so it is showing me like this. So I'll not remove them now. Uh, I'll just cancel because already I have means already I have installed that, so it is showing me like that. Okay, otherwise it will, it will show the next step only. So for you guys, if it is new, go to the next step. Then next, uh, uh, just go uh, in uh, local C program files node. Okay, so you can see it is installed. We'll check the version whether whether it is a command. Okay, so when you search, just go here and type the command like no dash dash v. So you can see it is installed. Then also it is giving me error like a node is not recognized as internal external command. Why? Because uh, guys what what we have to do whatever the path of node is there now that we need to add in our environment variable okay you can see i am in program files then is no node then this is the path guys which i have to add in environment okay so just go inside and just go here just go here just click on path then edit then make it new and here to add that path okay now it is added here you can see so just okay okay if you install the VR, yes, you definitely should have more also in the uh, operating system. Okay, so then now what you can do then just do one thing, just close that to open. Okay. Now you can see node is there, it is showing the node version also. You can see it is now the node has been installed in our operating system. Okay, now we can create our react application okay so we'll go in our documents where we were searching the command so this is the command guys which we need to do that is npm create read at least this okay that command we need to copy and we need to paste it here so what i'll do i'll just copy that and i'll go here then paste you can see but i'm getting the error what error it is telling the npm like uh, loaded because running script something is what it is telling this but if you check here in command prompt, we'll check whether npm is installed or this is the version that is npm as version. We will get the end version. You can see already I have npm, then also I'm getting that error. Okay, suppose if you're facing that error, guys, then what you need to do just go here, guys, a plus operation. So you can see that it is PowerShell. Okay, so instead of PowerShell, we need to select guys here command prompt. So don't select PowerShell, you select the command that is cmd, then here type try to run that command I'll copy this and I will try to install that okay you can see now I will try to install you can see this now it is working it is asking me whether you want to process yes I want to process then I have to go the show you the project name so just give you a project name whatever the project name is there okay you can like develop then here select the react version then here select it which is required then you can see guys there i'm getting the three steps you can see already it is installed now okay that is the project but again i have to go in my developer project then after i need to install and then i have to run okay so here what you do guys just copy this path and just paste it or you can follow the three steps too, okay just i'm copying and pasting you can see then next is what npm install so it will install the node files you can see guys there I will get node file also it will take here it will take some time but i'm using read so it will not take more time if you're using 
it is in process now okay it is done guys you can see the node file has been created yes it's done means that installation is done that is in npm install next we have to use this command that is npm run dev so it will run our project okay you can see npm run dev we have to do enter so we will get one url you can see i'm getting one url just pop it and paste it in browser okay we'll see the output guys what i'm getting so you can see guys we got the output that is you can see we can increase the counting this is not that we can increase so if you go in source and if you go in app.jsx you will get here you can see okay if you want to edit you can edit also you, if your file like if you want to do you can do that also so right now i'm thinking to remove some this so sure i'll remove it that's the react heading got no heading is not because i removed that okay okay so i hope you got guys how we can install react in our windows 11 okay suppose if you're facing any issue regarding this guys just uh please comment in comment box so i'll answer to that and just follow these steps main environment is very important just install the node first and environment guys then command component select and then I hope guys you got if you like if you like this video then guys like share and subscribe to me. Thank you so much guys. Keep supporting me.